century is just beyond my grasp. You said I was cursed. I suppose you have the right to know. You are the prince of Cassandra. A prince? You... Nay, your highness, is the son of Lord Sigmund, who was the great king of Cassandra. What? Capel is Lord Sigmund's son? That's impossible! King Volsung, who ruled all of Cassandra, was called Sigmund when he was a child. The kingdom that flourished under his majesty crumbled in a single night. On the evening of the prince's birth, there was a lunar eclipse. That I've heard. His majesty agonized over the decision for a long time, but at last bid me to follow royal tradition. This newborn prince I was ordered to send him down a river. You? I carried the prince down river by ship, and then readied a small boat and placed him on board. It was that very moment that I noticed something. There was a message embroidered on the cloth covering him. Yes, a blessing to protect the child. It read, This boy shall be courageous and kind. He will be called Capel. He will be called Capel. <sighs> but. Calm down. You're still the same Capel. <sighs> I. Had a father. Sigmund. I'll protect you. He said he remembered something during the rite. He must have realized who I was. You just have to be yourself. Capel, protect this world. And that's why he sacrificed himself for me. Leonid appeared in this country when it was on the verge of collapse. He was able to oust foreign invaders with his overwhelming power. So, we chose to serve him. But he's a horrible person! First and foremost, a knight serves his country. He must remain loyal, even if he's taken down an immoral path. Your Majesty. Capel! The gate! We can't get any closer. Lord Capel, allow me to perform this. Final task. The king has returned. Open for your rightful master. Father, 
I'll end this myself.